Okay, in this Blender tutorial, we're just going to continue with the smoke and the fire effects. And in the first several tutorials, I was kind of just getting you introduced to the basics of it. And we're going to continue with the basics because it's easier to learn smoke and fire kind of like one step at a time. Because usually you'll see video tutorials and there are these extended length tutorials and you got to learn this and that and this and that and put it up, try and put it all together. So instead, I think it's simpler if we just learn it. Well, let's just take a look. Well, here's one video that's just rendered. I'll show you what I mean. Here's a simple video. This is running 1,500 particles like this. Didn't take that long. The total animation, it's rendered at 720 by 480, was about mm, seven or eight minutes for the simulation, and then maybe another five to six minutes for the rendering of it. So not a, not a lot of time. In fact, most of these videos I'm going to show you are only 10 to 15 minutes in length at the most. All right, so that's one just to kind of get us started. So what we're going to look at in this lesson though is here's that basic smoke that was indicated in there and we've show, I've showed you how to set up the domain and an object in the domain. In this case you don't actually see the object and that's because well there is my object right here. You just can't see it because right up in here I have it turned off for the rendering of it like that. So you don't see it. If you don't want to render the object just turn it off in here which is what I do. But one of the most critical things, there's about five or six things that are just fundamentally important. And we're going to focus on the rendering of it. And I'm going to show you the examples in the video. And so if you go to the Material tab, when you render for smoke, two really critical things is, one, turn this density off. That's absolutely critical. How do you know? You go to the Blender Manual, and it tells you exactly that. Turn that off, all right? And for flames, crank this emission up. So it's usually down low at around one, but crank it up five, six, seven, something like that. That's kind of a range you want to work with in here. But the, what we're going to focus on today is right down in here, this under the integration panel under transparency, and then here's integration like this, and this step size 0.02. I'm going to show you equivalent renderings with this step size and how much this matters. This and this takes very little extra time as far as well maybe not very little but um, as far as rendering. The simulation is one thing when you bake your simulation and I'll show you that later and the rendering is another and the rendering when you set it this at point 0.1 it's kind of rough and when you set it at point 0.02 it's pretty refined and I'm going to show you three steps point 0.1 and point 0.06 and point 0.02 all right, so go look, let's go look at those. So let me see. Here's 0 0.06, 0 0.1. All right, so here's a smoke and fire that's a thousand particles, and the resolution when I did it was at 85. So the resolution within here under the smoke domain, I had set at 85 for this video that's coming up. So you can. What I found is if you're running around the 75 to 85 range, you can start generating some pretty decent looking smoke. You start getting to 70 and below, and it's pretty rough. All right, and, But that also is in conjunction with, here's this object, that also is conjunction with the number of particles you have. So I was running 1,500 particles on this one, and you start getting below you know, like 700, 600, it's looking pretty rough. So stay 1,000 particles or above, stay resolution of 75 or above, and then you can do your animate your simulations within about 15 minutes. And I'm on an old Pentium i920 computer. It's about three years old with six gigabytes of RAM. So it's not the most speediest of computer because it doesn't take advantage of the GPU for this type of rendering. All right, so let's see. Goes here's the so here's the one at 1,000 particles at uh, resolution of 85 for the domain and yeah high point yeah point one all right let's see what it looks like all right so this was pretty quick in fact so I tend to go through this and document it exactly let me see what I had on this one here this was way back here hmm Oh yeah, so this is only this was the lowest. This was only running about three seconds per frame on the rendering at 720 by 480. But you can see the motion is pretty nice, right? And it's it looks it looks pretty good like smoke. But you see that graininess pattern in there that's kind of stuck in place. You'll see that in cycles rendering as well. So let's get rid of that. So let's go take a look at the next one. And the next one is 
the same thousand particles, 85 resolution, but this time 0 0.06 for that integration value under the materials tab. And now you can see the graininess goes away and you're starting to focus in on the flames and the smoke a little bit more. All right, now let's drop it down to 0 0.02 for the integration. So this is how we recommend that you work with these as you build it and then you kind of test it and have some examples just like I have in here. And you save your examples, that way you have a reference as to what things look like. And then you just change one parameter at a time to see how they look. So this is looking pretty nice. You know, and the graininess is pretty much gone. So I could probably step it up to point zero three or a little bit more, but and that would save a little bit of time. But the rendering's not where you're gonna save the ton of time. Alright, so let's look. The where you really save the ton of time is when you change the resolution, like eighty five resolution versus say 50 resolution makes a big difference. Let's look at these actually. Here's, what is this? Here's 7,000 particles at 50 resolution. Let's see what that looks like. So you can see what's happening in this case. Actually the, the s flames in the fire up here don't look too bad, but there's so many particles in this one little area that it's just blasting it out. So this effect would still work because at 50 resolution let me see at a 50 resolution, the simulation only took a minute and 30 seconds for this simulation. And then it was about uh, five to seven minutes to do a hundred frame rendering. So the whole process was less than 10 minutes to create this animation at 720 by 480. But of course, 1280 by 720 won't be that much more. All right, let's see what the next one looks like. Let's see. Right, let's try one at 3,000 particles at 65 resolution. Oh, and oh, but there's going to be one thing different. Right in here it says one high. So in this case, th this is going to be, this is another critical factor if I can get this. All right, there it is. So in here, these divisions I said make a huge difference. You need to be at least 75 or above for it to look right. But also down in here under smoke high resolution that I have set. Well, in this case, I have this one set to three, but you really need to be at least at two, and you definitely don't be, want to be at one. One is definitely weak. I've tried a lot of examples with that, trying to speed it up, and it doesn't really work. So now let's take a look at it. At here it is at one, and we'll see. And then. The motion is nice. You can still see it has really nice motion and the colors look nice, but it's definitely getting too soft and too fuzzy. And I could probably adjust this by changing my colors so they're not so bright but like that, but obviously that's not working as well. All right, let me see. How about, oh, here's with three subdivisions at the high resolution. So this division's at three at 65 resolution. So I lowered the resolution, only 2,000 particles. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, and you can see it's just, it looks crisper in a lot of ways, so it's looking pretty good. And let's see, that was three subdivisions, though. And let me look at my notes. Yeah, for three subdivisions, 2,000 particles, that was uh, six minutes to do the simulation over 100 frames, and that about seven to eight minutes to do the rendering, like that. And then let's see, 60 resolution, there's 500 particles. Oh yeah, here's 500 particles at 60 resolution. That's looking quite weak, soft, 60s, just way too low, all right. And then how about this, 2,500 particles at 75 resolution. That's pretty good, so it's, I've had them higher at 85, but sometimes you, so there's a balance between like the number of particles you use and the resolution as well. That can definitely make a difference. So, and this is still considered relatively low resolution when you do a final simulation, but it's it's certainly plenty good enough to give you an idea of what your work's gonna look like and how to do it. So for this lesson, we're just really, the issue was this integration value 
here in the materials tab when we actually set it up make sure you have this set down at at least 0 0.05 because at 0.1 it's not going to work so that's what and make sure your density is zero and then in uh, upcoming lessons we'll address the materials in here because the materials are where you set your colors and really do it the in here yeah density zero mission up there like this and get that step size down at 0 0.05 or lower all right, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.